If you actually care, if you care about this planet, then this is the answer. We have to be moving away from uh, things that burn fossil fuels. We have to make people realize that this town, this county is worth the walk. It's worth the bike ride, it's worth the run. We don't have enough people doing it because we haven't created safe biking infrastructure. And it's not just about a bike, it's about an experience. So the more that we do this, and the more we can put this under development, the better we're gonna be, and the better our cities and our counties are gonna to be to live. This has been really useful, and Gavin came in with his staff last week, and we pulled this out, and we started going over all the places where things are not connected, and where we need to connect so people can get from Annapolis to, to Pearl Shopping Center and the mall and all of that. We've got a plaque for each of you with the, the certificate of bronze bike friendly community and then the way the, the league evaluates bike friendly communities is on the what they call the five E's. The first E is education. So one of the things ahead is more bike safety education. The second E, encouragement and events. These are these are programs that get people out riding. Enforcement is really important to make, make sure we get the right behavior on the roads. Fourth, evaluation and planning. We have wonderful head bike master plans in the city and the county. Let's implement what's going into these great plans. And the fifth E is, and arguably the most important is engineering. This is actually having a network, actually having trails and on-road road bike lanes, and also other things like signage and bike racks, all things that say bikes welcome here. This is a safe, fun place to ride for transportation, for recreation, for fitness and of choice, or for people for whom a bicycle is the only affordable means of, of getting around. The sum of all these connections is what will help us uh, build out a network.